Even health workers with protective gear are not immune to, to getting the Ebola virus. Now, the case of a nurse in Dallas once again drives home a potentially deadly reality. Experts at Mission Health gave News 13's John Lee a step-by-step -step look at the process of suiting up in the event of an Ebola case. As we saw today, the process of putting on and taking off protective equipment takes both discipline and teamwork. Our emergency department is going through its annual retraining. On a gray day, Chief Patient Safety Officer Dr. Chris DiRienzo hopes to shed light. Even if you're very experienced in putting on and off this gear, it can still be challenging to ensure that you, you don't accidentally expose yourself. There are so many safeguards. What would be then three layers of shoe protection? First, the inner booties, taped to the legs. No body fluids could possibly get in to the best of our ability. So now we have our second layer of glove protection, in addition to our final layer of shoe protection. Of course, the suit protecting against Ebola. The material is, is a form of, of Tyvek, and so it's um, fluid impermeable. This is not meant to be a quick process. This level of personal protective equipment is is intended to be slow and deliberate. And that's why JC is not doing this herself. All the while, there's a third person with a checklist, making sure they don't miss a thing. To make sure that my, my taping is appropriate. More layers and tape. This is a, a filtering device that then also forces positive pressure outside the hood. How's it feeling there? Cool. There's a nice breeze coming through the air purifier. Taking the gear off, or doffing, is a time when Ebola exposure can happen. Normally, the person assisting would also have gear on, but Dr. DiRienzo is without the suit, so he can talk us through the process. He says first, the care provider's suit would be wiped down. And now JC can remove her hood. The disposable equipment goes right down into a bag. The air filtering accessories will be processed and reused later. This will be bagged up. Dr. DiRienzo says attention to detail is a lifesaver. Sealed. Part of that is practicing beforehand, and part of it is having the resources needed if you have a, a case that's highly suspicious or, or positive for Ebola. And now that you've seen that process, you can see how mistakes can be made along the way, so it's very important for health workers to be extremely careful. In Asheville, John Lee, News 13.